Have you heard of look and say number sequence or the look and say numbers? It's also called as Morris number sequence after the cryptographer Robert Morris. Uh, and this has very interesting applications. In this video, let's look at look and say number sequence and how we can implement it in Python. Hi, I am Guru Rajan. Welcome to this YouTube channel to watch these sequence of videos in Python programming. Let's get started. Now, let's begin by giving a seed value of 1 for this sequence. So, I have written a 1 here, so which is 1, 1. So, I have written a 1, so that's, that's what I am reiterating in the uh, second number, 1, 1. Now, here I have two ones because I have 2 times 1, so I have written 2, 1. And if you have to write 2, 1, if you have to say it loud and then write it, so you have, if you have to look and then say the numbers, I have 1, 2 and 1, 1. Similarly, if I have to look at the number and say it, I have 1, 1, the first one. And then the second one, I have 1, 2. And then I have 2, 1s. I hope that's getting clearer. So here I have 3, 1s because the first 3 are 1s here. 3, 1 and then I have 2, 2 and then I have 1, 2, right? And then if you have to write this, I have 1, 3 and I have 1, 1 and then 2, 2, 1, 1 and then 1, 2, right? I have 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2 and then 1, 1 and then 1, 2. If I have to write this again, I have 1, 1 and then 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, and then 1, 2. So you keep generating this sequence like this. This is called look and say number sequence. Now there is one more thing to remember in this. Here I have taken the seed value as 1. So if I had taken the seed value of 0, the number would have been different. You can see that the seed value of 0 produces these sequence of numbers because I have 1, 0 and then I have 1, 1 and then 1, 0 and so on. So depending on the seed value, a different set of look and say numbers will be generated. I hope this uh, gives us a clear understanding of what the look and say number is. Let's see a simple implementation of the look and say numbers in Python. Now here is the simple program in Python to generate the look and say numbers. So I have this for loop here where I take the number of inputs. So let's say I want 11 numbers. So here we go. It has generated 11 numbers. So let's see how this works. Now this for loop is where I took the number of inputs and then it traverses from one to that specific number that I'm giving. And then you have this look and say sequence, which is this function, right? And I have look and say uh, function. This function is generating the look and say numbers. The first in this for loop will be one, right? So I give a one here. So this num value is one. So it comes inside, there is a function inside this function, this doesn't get executed. So the first line that gets executed in this look and say sequence is the seed equal to one statement. So now I'm giving a seed value of one. Actually, it won't go inside this for loop and one is returned and then it is printed. Now the second number is two. So we get a two here. So if you get a two here, so obviously next number function is going to be called with the number one. So you get sval equal to one. As you can see, the result is an empty list. LCN is the loop count, loop count variable, which is starting with zero. And while LCN less than length of sval, I'm passing a one here, so which is not true. As you can see, the value of one passes here and sval is one. So when sval is one for the next number function, result is an empty list and LCN is zero. LCN is less than length of SVAL. Length of SVAL is 1. So LCN is 0. Obviously this while is going to be true and it comes inside. So count is equal to 1. Count is initialized to 1. LCN plus 1 is length of less than length of SVAL. This part of the AND is false because LCN is 0. LCN plus 1 is 1. So less than length is false. So it doesn't go inside the while loop. But as you can see, the count is 1 here, which we initialized. So it is converted into a string plus SVAL of LCN. LCN is 0. So SVAL of LCN is 1 because I 
the sval is 1 which we passed from this function call. This next number is a function inside the look and say num sequence. So when you call next number, it comes here and then it goes into this sval is 1. So this while loop becomes true, count is initialized to 1. The inside while loop becomes false because lcn plus 1 is 1 which is not equal to less than length of sval, which is not less than length of sval. So this portion of the and left side of the and is false. So the while loop is false. It doesn't go inside the while loop. So result dot append string of count is 1. Count is 1 which is converted into a string and then you have 1 here. 1 plus 1 you get a 1. So and then the loop count gets incremented to 1 it doesn't go inside this for loop. So now this what is returned here is there is an empty string and then the result the list is having 1 1 as the first string. So that 1 1 is joined with this string and then it is returned. So the next number function which we called it returns 1 1 and then it is printed here. So the first number will be 1 and the second number will be 1 1. So and similarly the whole thing goes on. So the next time the number 3 is passed. So it goes on like that. So you pass 1 1. We can actually look at that. For example now the sval becomes 1 1. When sval is 1 1 again result is an empty list lcn is 0. So you can say that 0 is less than length of sval is 2. So it comes here count is 1 and here this is true this is true because s we have 1 1 so lcn is double equal to lcn plus 1. The right side of the and is true and the left side of the and is true. So the loop count is incremented to 1. So loop count is now 1 and uh, string of count count is now 2 because the count has been incremented here it is initialized to 1. And because this while loop is true, the count becomes 2 here. So string of count. So 2 is converted into a string plus sval of lcn. So lcn has become 1 now because we have incremented this. So sval of 1 is 1. So 2, 1. The loop count is incremented again to 2. Which means this while loop itself is not satisfied. And then the while loop completes. So empty string is joined with 2, 1. And that 2 1 is returned here as seed and this seed is returned to this place where you call the look and say sequence. So we have got uh, first as 1, we got the first value as 1, the second value as 1 1, the third value as 2 1 and so on. So as you can see here I have initialized the seed value as 1. You can also initialize the seed value of 0 and then a completely different sequence will be generated. So as you can see with the seed value of 0 we have generated 11 numbers. So based on the seed value a different set of look and say numbers will be generated. Hope you found this uh, interesting. We can also look at the pythonic implementation of the look and say numbers in a separate video. Hope you understood the idea behind look and say sequence and how it is implemented in python. If you like this video please give a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.